Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sport. And a very interesting news, and we're waiting for confirmation of officially if it'll happen, but um, it is something that has been spoken about a lot in the last few years, and apparently has basically been signed off, um, and that is the return of traditional rugby tours uh, between South Africa and New Zealand. All Black Springbok tours are supposedly back. And uh, very interesting uh, to see exactly the sort of the format um, which will include midweek matches in, in, against Western Unions, as well as potential SAA sides and stuff like that. Um, so um, we're waiting for official confirmation, but it's been 30 years since we've had a tour like this, but apparently it could be back as soon as 2026. Now, before we get into it, please do smash a like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. So we've been, this has been brewing, hasn't it, in the last few years in terms of, uh, you know, SA Rugby and New Zealand Rugby looking at different options of trying to up their revenue um, streams in, in, in sort of the near future with, uh, you know, lots of different um, sort of changes to the rugby climate with, you know, different rugby canvas, for example, the move to the Northern Hemisphere for our local side. And as a result, a lot of this has resulted in, in sort of, you know, potentially new um, approaches being discussed with regards to what happens with Springbok Rugby. Now, one of the big things that, that apparently has been discussed is um, tours between uh, New Zealand and South Africa happening every four years but in terms of a much extended tour. So no longer sort of this going over playing, you know, the All Blacks once in New Zealand, maybe even twice in New Zealand in the Rugby Championship. And that is it, but a longer um, tour, which will include, you know, up to a bunch of eight matches. Um, so that has apparently been signed off and we could have our first one in 2026 with the All Blacks set to tour South Africa for a three test series, which will include five midweek matches against the four URC franchise in the Bulls, Sharks, Stormers and uh, the Lions, as well as a one-off game against the South Africa A team. Uh, this will be followed by uh, the three tests themselves and apparently there will then be a fourth test in the calendar year, which will be at a neutral venue. Um, so the likes of a Twickenham, for example, or maybe one in the States, um, that kind of thing. And sort of an exhibition game, if you will. Um, apparently, the Springboks will then return the favour and they will go on tour in 2030. Um, and that will basically become a sort of a thing happening every uh, four years. Now, the problem was, is this, and this is where I think this is going to be a big hiccup. I'll be very interested to see how they kind of negotiate this issue, is the fact that this will replace the Rugby Championship. Um, which means that Argentina, Australia will have to make alternative plans for that international window, which becomes a very big problem um, for these uh, these these nations. Now, how do they sort of solve this? Now, for me, you know, the the timing is almost weird because next year is, for example, the 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 British and Irish Lions series. Now, if you got it right, for example, um, for me, obviously scheduling becomes the issue, but you could almost sort of have this as an alternative to the British and Irish Lions series um, in terms of, for example, next year. Uh, while the British and Irish Lions series will be taking place between Australia and um, the Lions, you could then kind of have that All Blacks tour in South Africa in kind of a similar sort of block. Um, and, you know, Argentina could look at, for example, a French tour, you know, a, a tour with France, with, you know, French barbarians, for example. They don't quite have the same sort of local size. Um, kind of the issue why we haven't seen a, a genuine Argentina tour by the British and Irish Lions series. So that's the biggest obstacle is what happens to Australia and Argentina in those years and when there's apparently now not going to be the rugby championship, you know, and how do they get that right? What 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 are the options? You know, can they go and um you know potentially find a a, a viable alternative? Do they play I mean because they, they've got to find an alternative that's not so much just from a playing rugby perspective, but um a revenue you know, point of of of, uh, of view. So, how did they manage to get that right? And that's going to be a problem for them, I think. Um, and I think that's going to be the biggest, you know, thing that's going to prevent this is how do they get the signed off by Sansa? Um, You know, because I don't think Australia and Argentina are going to be too keen on the idea, given the fact that they're going to lose out on so much revenue by not playing against the Springboks or the New Zealand. You know, these are the two big nations you need to play every year from a financial point of view. And they're not going to have that in these years. So it's a massive potential loss for them. And that's where I think the biggest sort of uh, attraction to this actually going ahead will come from. Now, apparently it's been signed off. So apparently it's, you know, all but done. Um, and obviously, you know, it wins that go over to New Zealand. It will be against uh, teams, the Super Rugby teams, for example, the Maori All Blacks and, and those sort of uh, thing. Uh, there's also talks that the potential women's side could be involved. So, for example, the Black First, which is New Zealand women's side, as well as Swimmer Women, could be included in these sort of touring schedules, you know, maybe playing, uh, you know, um, uh, curtain raisers, for example, and stuff like that, which would be a very cool idea. Um, so, there's lots of that needs to be ironed up, but an interesting concept. I want to know what you think 
of the, uh, the concert. Are you in for this? Are you out for this? Do you think it's going to be too much rugby, for example? Or is this, you know, exactly what we need? You know, do you want us to really, really vibe that, you know, old school, all black rivalry and, and have these longer tours? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.